Hey there, this is Two Tooth from Porky's Boys. Today I'm going to give you three reasons to watch WrestleMania X7. And I'm Farley, and I'm going to give you three reasons not to watch WrestleMania X7. Reason number three, you should watch WrestleMania X7. Tables, ladders, and chairs match. The Dudleys, the Hardys, Edge and Christian. My brother's going to tell you. It's a spot fest. Whatever, I don't care. It's amazing. Every time these three teams get together, it is a bunch of spots, but they're amazing spots. So Farley, forget about it. It's on the list. Reason number three not to watch WrestleMania X7, China versus Ivory. This is just a total squash match. China comes in and just wipes Ivory out. It's really, uh, I don't know. What was the point of this match? To make China look strong? She already looked strong way before this. Not really sure what the point of this was. Reason number two, you should watch WrestleMania X7. is the Undertaker and Triple H match. At this time, the Undertaker and Triple H were in their prime. This one doesn't have a bunch of spots, like Farley says. There was some technical wrestling in there and a lot of uh, moves that led up to something that meant something. Great match altogether. Great performers in the ring. The number two reason not to watch WrestleMania X7, APA and Taz versus The Right to Censor. This match was really, it seems like it was just filler to take up some time. It was only like a three minute long match. I mean, it was meant to get the acolytes into the pay-per-view because they were really over at the time. Everybody hated the right to censor, so they had the APA squash RTC, but really it was just filler. And the number one reason you should watch WrestleMania 17 or X7, the main event, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. This is probably one of the best matches in the history of wrestling. These guys put on a show. Lots of false finishes. Stone Cold had to absolutely beat the living hell out of The Rock before it was finally over. And vice versa. The Rock laid it on Stone Cold and kept kicking out, kept going. I mean, there's nothing more to say about this match, but you have to see this. If you're a wrestling fan, you have to see this match and this pay-per-view. And the number one reason not to watch WrestleMania X7, I got nothing. I mean, I gave you two reasons not to watch, but to be honest, I really had to stretch to get those two. So don't listen to me. Just ignore the first two reasons I gave you. Go ahead and watch this. Now it's time for the final <laughs> verdict on WrestleMania X7. Should you watch it or is it not worth your time? I think it's pretty simple. We both <laughs> say yes. Both definitely. say yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This is one of the best pay-per-views I've ever seen. And is it during what era? The Attitude Era. I thought. <laughs> hey, this is Tutu. And I'm Farley, and you just watched Porky's Boys. If you have an idea for us, leave a comment down below. And he'll get right to it.